Dark Sector, a sci-fi third-person shooting game. Dark Sector is a third-person sci-fi shooter video game for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and Microsoft Windows, created by Digital Extremes and published by Asper. Hayden Tenno is a morally ambiguous CIA cleanup person and he is the game's protagonist. Whilst attempting to intercept rogue agent Robert Mesner, Hayden's right arm becomes infected with a mythical technocyte virus, allowing him to sprout a three-pronged glaive at will. Players must negotiate their way through a world where biological weapons are a horrific nightmare unleashed on an unsuspecting populace, with a game set amidst the disintegrating infrastructure of a fictional Soviet bloc country. The game was released on March 25, 2008 in North America, in Japan on March 27, 2008, and on April 4, 2008 in Europe. Both multiplayer and single-player modes are available in the game. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Sector, a glimpse into the gameplay and storyline. In the first chapter, we see Hayden Tenno on a mission to find a captured informant named Victor Sudek. Hayden finds Victor but ultimately kills him to stop the Tenocide virus from spreading. After that, Hayden encounters a nemesis humanoid metal figure who knocks him unconscious and he gets infected. Do it. Wait. Wait. Managing to escape after detonating C4 explosives, he contacts AD, his supervisor, who asks him to meet up with Yago Mesnik, their sleeper agent. He encounters soldiers on his way, which is the first time he uses the glaive. Hayden finds Yago and refuses the booster for the virus. Upon learning that Mesnik wants to use an old transmitter to attract the infected to an old church, Hayden destroys the transmitter in the catacombs of the church and is confronted by Nadia, an old acquaintance. The latter leaves him alone to deal with a swarm of infected creatures all by himself because of an old hatred. He contacts AD and learns that Mesner is using a freighter to export the Tenocide virus. He gets on a boat and accidentally releases a highly evolved Tenocide monster which sinks the ship. Yargo! What's going on? They are breaking in. They found me. Just hang on. I'm on my way. Upon learning about Yago's capture, he rushes to Yago's post and finds Nadia torturing him to open the vault. Disobeying direct orders, Hayden goes to save Yago and finds himself in a strange station. He finds Yago there, who has lost an eye. This, this one is very old. Just as Hayden was about to take the booster, Nemesis appeared along with Mesner. Mesner, who can control technocide creatures, starts overpowering Hayden, leaving him no choice but to take the booster, thus ending Mesner's control and further mutations. Hayden finds himself in the Vosro research facility after being saved by Yago. Yago informs him about a suit in the facility's lab similar to that of Nemesis to improve his chances of survival. After going through the hordes of technocide creatures, he finds the suit but encounters Nadia when he is about to put on the armor. Nadia was there to look at Yago, whom she could use to open the vault. <laughs> After putting on the suit, he kills Nemesis and learns it was Nadia all along. She apologizes for infecting him and mentions Mesner's plan to transmit the virus worldwide. Nadia hands over the key to the vault before drawing her final breath. Hayden reaches the vault and finds AD there, who tells him that he has made a deal with Mesner. Hayden feels betrayed and kills AD along with all his men. Hayden finds Yago on his way and asks him to seal the vault. Inside the vault, Hayden finds the source of the Technocyte virus an old American submarine, along with Mesner holding the technocyte transmitter that resembles a Hydra. Hayden defeats everyone, but Yago tells him that the transmission hasn't stopped. Meanwhile, Mesner stuns Hayden's right arm, which forces him to use the glaive with his left hand, with which he stabs Mesner in the head, finally stopping the transmission. 
The glaive is used extensively in the dark sector. It is a three-pronged boomerang-like weapon which, after each throw, returns to Hayden. Long-distance mutilation, solving environmental riddles and gathering up numerous things are possible with the glaive. Context-sensitive actions may surface when the player is close to an adversary, allowing the player to kill them with finishers. The glaive is used to capture various elements such as fire, electricity and ice in most environmental riddles in the game. The glaive gains additional skills as the game develops, including flying and killing several adversaries, a charged up throw for more deadly assaults, and the ability to render the user invisible for a limited period of time. Hayden is holding the glaive and a revolver in his left hand. Combinations such as stunning a shielded adversary from afar with the glaive and then shooting him while unprotected are possible. For third-person shooting, the camera is placed over the shoulder and the player can seek cover by standing close to a pillar or wall. The player can peek out and shoot while being undercover and toss the glaive. However, there is no blind shooting. Set locations contain money, ammunition, weapon upgrades and grenades. Downed adversaries drop their weapons, but Hayden can only hold them for a few seconds until they self-destruct due to his sickness. On the black market, permanent weapons may be acquired and improved. Hayden's health is shown via the screen flashing red as his body takes on further impairment. There is also an indication revealing the attacker's position. If Hayden suffers too much injury, the flash speed increases and a heartbeat may be heard, signifying that Hayden is critical. The critical reception of the Dark Sector was divided. It was acclaimed for its aesthetics, unique action and weapon-based gameplay. The game drew a lot of attention for its extensive combat sequences that don't fail to impress gamers. The game was even banned in Australia for being too violent, but a censored version was released in 2009. Marvelous Verdicts the plot begins with a bang in single-player mode, but it seldom seems like it's moving along as you progress. Even as a soldier, the multiplayer modes in Dark Sector are a lot of fun. The plot of Dark Sector isn't as engaging as that of Gears of War or Uncharted, from which the game draws a lot of influence. But if you're only interested in the exciting action, you won't be disappointed. Dark Sector's spectacular battle segments are interspersed with exploration, allowing the player to progress without the game becoming too lengthy. Dark Sector never fails to excite in terms of visuals. The audio in the game is equally noteworthy. The game, all in all, is a must-try for gamers who enjoy serious combat. And with a weapon like the Glaive at your disposal, it's loads of entertainment. And if you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.